Mr. Harper has made this promise before. He promised not to appoint any senators. He broke that promise 59 times. He's trying to deflect from the fact that he has no plan uh, to grow the economy, no plan to deal with the concerns of Canadians who are worried about their kids uh, not getting good jobs, worried about seniors' retirement, worried about the growth that's uh, not happening uh, for middle-class Canadians. Mr. Harper is trying to distract people from his inability to deal with the economy, uh, and we don't believe him. Uh, both the NDP uh, and the Conservatives are uh, posturing uh, for uh, a popular position uh, that has actually no, no capacity of happening. Uh, ab abolition requires uh, negotiation with the provinces, constitutional haranguing uh, that will take us through 10 years. The Canadians I talk to uh, want a government that's focused on jobs and growth on retirement for seniors, for opportunities for youth, on the infrastructure needed uh, to help our cities, on the kind of uh, international engagement that's going to lead to good jobs and better trade deals. Uh, Canadians are not uh, wanting to hear about uh, uh, constitutional arguments. Uh, they want to see uh, the kind of uh, focus that uh, a Canadian government needs to have on bringing in real solutions for Canadians.